welcome back to the Golf Streamer. Our hosts today are Shanna Richardson and Tari Koenig. And now, the Golf Streamer, streaming news you can use. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Golf Streamer. I'm Shanna Richardson. And I'm Atari Coney. And today, we are excited to have with us Meredith Rollo from Nextera Energy. Meredith, tell us a little bit about you. Well, thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here today. Um, As mentioned, I'm Meredith Rollo. I work for Nextera Energy in their environmental department. From a personal perspective, I've spent most of my life here in the beautiful state of Florida. I grew up on the West Coast, went to University of Florida, and I spend my time now in Palm Beach Gardens with my husband and my two canine kids. And outside of work, I spend the majority of time outside, whether it's at a park, traveling to a national park, or spending time in my garden. I joined Nextera Energy nine years ago, and for those of you who don't know about it, but Nextera Energy is one of the largest clean energy providers in North America. We have operations across the United States and in Canada, Um, but in South Florida, you know us really as Florida Power & Light, which is the energy company that's providing energy to most of your homes in South Florida. I spent most of my time in community relations, working on volunteer projects for our employees and supporting nonprofits in the communities we serve. But for the past three years, I've been in the environmental department, working on sustainability programs and environmental outreach projects as it relates to education, conservation, and research. Wonderful. Uh, Meredith, can you tell us a little bit about sustainability at Nextera? When you look up sustainability, in the, dis- in the dictionary or on the, on the internet, there are a lot of different definitions for sustainability. And one that really pops out to me, and I'm going to read it to you, is any activity that meets the needs of the current generation without compromising the ability for future generations to meet their needs. So that relates to environmental issues, but also social and economic issues. And so at Nextera, we focus on all different types of sustainability initiatives. And that is part of our core value. We treat people with respect, we do the right thing, and we're committed to excellence. And I know that from researching the Scouts, you guys have a lot of similar values as it relates to the way that you operate and what what Scouts represent. And so our programs are not just related to environmental. It has to do with our customers, our communities, our employees, and the way we do business. But since I'm in the environmental department, I'll focus on environmental issues right now. So as I mentioned, we're a clean energy leader, and we do this by investing in renewable energy, which is emissions free, and that really is wind and solar. Wind outside of the state of Florida, um, as well as solar outside of the state of Florida. But in Florida, we're doing a really large expansion as it relates to bringing more solar energy to the state. And I believe you all recently partnered with us, the Gulfstream did, um, with 40 Cub Scouts who learned a little bit more about solar energy, and they were able to get the first FPL solar charging patch, which I thought was really interesting and fun. I learned that recently. So expanding renewable energy helps us lower our emissions, but we also have emissions-free nuclear energy, and we also work on programs to improve the energy associated with our natural gas power plants. And those programs help us use less fuel, reduce our emissions, as well as use less water. Water is not needed for wind and most solar energy, but it is needed for other forms of energy generation. So we also focus on being good water stewards as well. We also work on programs related to reducing our waste and we really focus on reduce, reuse, recycle, which is the basics. And that's not just at our power plants, but it also relates to what we do at our office space and educating our employees to do the same. I know a lot of you will be learning about different forms of energy generation in your sustainability merit badge program, um, so I won't get into too much detail as it relates to that. We also have policies and programs that focus on avoiding and minimizing impacts to wildlife and to habitat. And some of you might have been to our Manatee Lagoon Center. Um, 
that really highlights our Manatee program, which is one of our Hallmark Florida programs for habitat, rest, habitat conservation. And to conclude, I'd say that we believe that protecting the environment is a collective responsibility. And that's why we also partner with organizations to educate the community on conservation. Meredith, as you are aware, sustainability and the environment is incredibly important to scouting. So what sustainable behaviors can our youth implement while we're all scouting at home? So doing a little initial research about scouting a little bit more, I've known about the scouting programs um, for a lot of my life. Unfortunately, I didn't get to participate in those programs, um, but your values and your commitment to citizenship and conservation and your slogan of do a good turn daily, you already have a sustainability mindset. So that's the first step. And as I mentioned, for some of the programs that we have at Nextera, you can also do those same types of programs, whether it's conserving water or looking at waste as it relates to reduce, reuse, recycle. But since I work at an energy company, I'll focus on energy conservation. And we're all at home a whole lot more right now. And a lot of you are either working if you're a scout parent from home or you're a scout and you're doing school from home and the weekends you're spending a lot more time at home. So our energy use is probably increasing because of the amount of time we're spending at home. Whether it's increasing in air conditioning because summer is here and or your hot water or appliance use. So really there are a lot of ways that you can look at your energy use and start conserving now. And one of the ways that I would initially say is work with your parents to go online and go to fpl.com slash ways to save. And they, we have this helpful flyer um, that really outlines some of the key things that you can do. So things like that are obvious, but you might forget, turn the ceiling fan off when you leave a room or turn the lights out when you leave the room. Similarly, you can unplug large appliances when you're not utilizing them and that will help with energy conservation. A lot of you probably love your privacy, whether it's with your parents or with your siblings, but closing doors actually impacts airflow and blocks the airflow. So keeping doors open can help with your energy use. Similarly, there are other things that you can do like cooking all of your meal prep at once. So working with your parents to do weekly meal prep where you utilize smaller appliances versus larger appliances and that can help. Or go outside and use the grill and not the oven and that also can help. I would also encourage you when you're helping with the laundry, change the lint filter every time and that will help reduce drying time. Other things that you can do is work on replacing your light bulbs with LED light bulbs. And another interesting tip, you can actually help by planting trees outside near your home. They obviously, planting a tree obviously has benefits for wildlife and also cleaner air, but the tree shade can help reduce air conditioning needs. We have a lot of resources online that will help you plant a tree in the right place. And you can also go to websites like Arbor Day Foundation or go to your local native plant nursery to find the right tree for you to plant. And to really hone in on how you can make a difference at your energy use, you can also work with your parents to um, go online and use our energy analyzer tool on fpl.com. And you also, you can, you, what you can do with that tool is investigate how energy is being used at your home, and then you can target those areas to help reduce your energy use. And with all of these actions, not only are you going to conserve energy, and you can also use that towards your sustainability merit badge, but you also will help decrease the monthly energy bill, which is a win-win. That is really fantastic information. Now, Meredith, last question. Do you have a message for our scouts and scouters out there? Sure. Well, thank, first, I'd like to just say thank you again for, for your commitment to sustainability and for having me talk a little bit about how Nextera um, manages their sustainability programs. And as I mentioned earlier, I feel that our values align with the Scouts and you are gaining key leadership and citizenship skills that we look for in future employees. 
So I hope this brief time today has piqued your interest in continuing to learn more about clean energy and sustainability. And there are tremendous careers in the energy industry, whether it's engineers, whether it's environmental scientists, whether it's in information technology, if you're really interested in computers, or whether it's people like me who are working in sustainability. So hopefully um, you'll be interested in, in a career in the energy industry and one day helping power the nation's clean energy future. Thank you so much for joining us today, Meredith. And NextEra is one of our favorite partners to work with. We appreciate you guys so much. So thanks again for joining us for another episode of The Gulf Streamer. Thank you for watching another episode of The Gulf Streamer.